Okay, so before jumping into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that we're almost at 20,000 subscribers. So to celebrate that, I will be hosting a giveaway with CC Glam Cosmetics. They were kind enough to want to collaborate with me for this giveaway. We'll be giving away some of their products. So we have two winners. We have a US winner because CC Glam is from the US. And we also have a winner for Canada because Lil old me is from Canada. So the rules for the giveaway is to subscribe to my channel okay comment down below anything related to beauty fashion or even videos you guys love to watch from me follow CC glam on Instagram and also follow me on Instagram um, turn on your post notification bell so I'll be checking that out that's it that's all I wanted to say so let's just jump right into the video I'm getting ready to go out but I really wanted to test out the new foundation from Maybelline so this is the Maybelline super stay um, why is it all in French? Multi here. Super Maybelline Super Stay Multi Use Foundation Stick. And it is a cream to matte formula, precision blender, and full coverage. So, you guys know that on my channel, I really love the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. I'm in the color 334. I love that foundation. I always use it on my channel. So, when I saw that they came out with this, I decided to buy it. I bought it at Jean Coutu, which is a drugstore here in Montreal. I do like their Fit Me Stick Foundations. So, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this one Maybelline never really disappoints with foundations so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with my normal routine I see other youtubers doing that thing where they like I'll do half a face without primer I don't feel like this is realistic because you're going to wear primer and if you don't if you're not the a type of person to wear primer well I already moisturized my skin I use the st. Ives moisturizer it's like the normal moisturizer and I already did my eyebrows you guys know the deal with this gonna go away eventually so I got the foundation in the color 330 toffee caramel um, that's usually the color I always go for with this foundation well any Maybelline foundation this foundation comes with 0.25 ounces so 7 grams of product I do feel like you don't really get that much product in it um, for the price I paid like almost $15 Canadian so that kind of sucks but it's it's okay whatever i have other foundations but if this is your only foundation i would just suggest to get like the pump the liquid one because you get more product in it so yeah so i'm gonna prime my skin i'm gonna use the cover effects illuminating primer and i'm just gonna apply this all over my face usually when i do foundation i always add this glam glow glow starter mega illuminating moisturizer I usually mix it with my foundations, but I'm just gonna apply some in my hands. Okay, so I applied too much. So now that my skin is primed, I'm just gonna apply the foundation. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this first, and if I do need more, I'll add more. The foundation does come with a sponge on this side. I decided to wet it because I always wet my sponges, so I'm just going to... So it blends out nicely. I just feel like the sponge, like the sponge is okay. Like I would use a sponge for concealer more than foundation because I feel like this just takes too long. I'm gonna have to add more foundation on. It looks better on this side than on this side. Maybe it's because I'm using like circular, circular motions as I'm patting. Maybe I should have done that on the other side. My arm hurts, like this sponge is, I feel like I'm working so much harder. I'm gonna add more foundation, but I'm gonna use my usual tools such as my brush and my Sigma sponge. This is my Sigma F80 brush. It does blend really nicely and the color match is literally perfect. Perfect to my body, not to like my the color of my face. My face is not that much lighter than the rest of my body, but you can still see a little difference. Yeah, once it's blended down my neck, it looks fine. I honestly feel like that little sponge is like smart, but it's not to blend out your whole face. I would say like blend out your concealer, which I'm gonna try out for you guys. Okay, so I really like how my skin looks. It literally looks, it looks similar to the liquid version of this foundation, but just a little creamier. Even with the other foundation, 
um, their liquid version. I do actually use the illuminating moisturizer and the cover effects primer often and you don't really see the luminosity under the foundation. I feel like the primer really complemented the foundation, um, the stick foundation, because stick foundations always have like a creamier satiny finish than most liquid foundations. So as usual, I always go in with a sponge. This is my Sigma sponge. I don't really know the name by heart, but I do have a discount code with them. So feel free to pick it up. It's become my favorite sponge in such a short amount of time. I just wanna see how the sponge performs with concealer. I'm gonna go with my usual. It is the L'Oreal Paris Visible Lift Serum Concealer in the color Medium Deep and the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the color Creamy Neutral. So I'm just gonna try to blend this out. Okay, I feel like the sponge is just literally picking up product. It's not really blending anything out. But the thing is that the sponge doesn't really feel that dense though. Usually really dense con concealers, really dense sponges do that. I feel like for concealer, it's okay. I would definitely not use this for foundation. But the foundation does look amazing and feels amazing on the skin. Um, it is full coverage, but it doesn't, like I can still see my birthmark right here and here, but I don't really mind that. Like it's a full coverage, but it's not a cakey full coverage. I've been loving the natural full coverage look and I feel like that's what the foundation is giving. So I really like the foundation, um, the finish of the foundation. Guys, it looks really nice, like really nice. I like this a lot um, and it doesn't feel heavy. I used to be all into like heavy foundations and for summer I just I feel like this is like the perfect summer full coverage foundation like it doesn't feel heavy. Oh, I love I love I like how it looks like I like how it feels. Okay so I'm just gonna finish the rest of my face and then I'll give you guys my final rundown and I also wanted to talk about my hair so I'll be right back. for hair I just wanted to talk to you guys about this hair this hair is from beauty forever hair it's like um, I think the details are Brazilian Brazilian straight hair and obviously I made a wig with it this is the Brazilian straight hair so I did make a wig with it the longest bundles two 26 inch bundles one half of a 24 inch bundle and a 20 inch closure and I really like this hair I feel like you don't really need to do much to it in order for it to stay straight I don't know I feel like I don't need to be doing extra shit you know I can actually go out like this, it's just that I know I'm going downtown, so I'd rather just straighten my hair, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Beauty Forever hair is really affordable, I really like their hair, I've worked with them before for like, I think it was my Malaysian curly, and I really, really, really like that hair. I made like a curly wig with that, but I really like the straight, and I like the long bundles, I feel like Nicki Minaj. Yeah, that's how I feel with these long ass bundles. Um, the hair is really silky and smooth. It doesn't really tangle much. You don't really need to straighten it every day, but if you want to, you can. You can curl it, you can dye it. Um, I wouldn't suggest to dye virgin hair like this, but you can if you want to. What else? I feel like the ends, usually when you order really long bundles, the ends are much thinner than this, and I feel like they're pretty thin, but I do feel like compared to other brands, they're pretty good. I really like the ends. What else did I think? Oh, the closure was really easy to pluck. It wasn't hard. I actually bleached the closure. Um, for the, I bleached my closure for the first time. I'm not like a hair dyeing person, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm really not. If you guys hear noises and kids shows, my cousin, my little cousin is here. He came from Haiti and he's watching like some sort of like Teen Titans or something, I don't know. So I bleached the closure myself and I think I put too much bleach and the roots turned like brown and I was like fuck. So I had to get dark brown dyed so I could dye 
the roots of the hair back but the closure is still bleached um so just be careful with that but besides that the knots are pretty are really small which i really like i feel like it looks more natural when the knots of the closure are small i don't know i really really like the hair it's it's so like nice and like flowy like i feel like it's not stiff a lot of these hair extensions do get stiff after a while i've had this hair for about a week now and so far so good not much shedding even when i did bleach the closure and i had to like wash it out and stuff it didn't shed yeah so that's all i have to say i'll link down below all of their discount codes and stuff like that i don't have a discount code myself but they did give me like uh there's a there's a discount sale thing going on so i'll link that down below for you guys and i'll also link down below their website their instagram if you guys want to check that out oh also i feel like compared to other straight hairs that i've had before um this one actually straightens really really well compared to the other hairs i feel like the other hairs always had like that it's like it straightens and then it would like wave back up i would say like a good 10 minutes later it would go back to like its natural state which is like a straight but not bone straight and i love bone straight hair so it would really really bother me that's it for the hair so for um the foundation review i did notice that the foundation did not settle into my fine lines i often have um the smile lines right here that crack by the time i'm done my makeup it hasn't done that yet it's a mixture of the powder that i used to set and also the fact that it is a full coverage foundation i noticed that the liquid version of this also doesn't um settle into my smile line so i really like that the shade is literally perfect i can't really say anything i feel like i look really good my skin looks really nice the concealer blended really nicely besides the sponge i don't really have anything bad to say i don't think the sponge is bad i just feel like it wasn't necessary um it works for concealer i liked it for concealer but for foundation i just feel like it just takes too much time i feel like for the on on the go type of girl i feel like having the sponge on this is really smart maybe carry around a setting spray so you can dampen it but i feel like this foundation is um i don't feel like i wasted my money it was about 12.95 canadian plus tax which is more expensive than what you would pay in the united states obviously because everything's expensive here but I do feel like I didn't waste my money. I feel like I am going to use it. Is it a must have if you do have other foundation and you're like trying to save money, you're trying not to buy anything for a while, da, 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 da. You don't need, you don't need to buy it, but if you want to buy it, buy it because it's a good foundation. One thing I would say, dry skin girls like me, do wear an illuminating primer or lotion underneath just so you can have a little more radiance to your skin or else i feel like your skin's gonna look a little too matte like i said there is um a creamy finish to this foundation like a satiny finish but just to boost it up a little more i feel like you should apply a hydrating primer i know maybelline has some or even they also have um like this illuminating highlight liquid lotion that you can apply mixing into your primer just to give like a little more of a radiance to your skin because i did notice that when i don't use an illuminating primer or lotion before using the super stay line my skin looks seems to look very like 1d flat and like matte that's because i do have really dry skin so my oily skin girls you are going to like this foundation also because you won't need to do the extra step you can just use your normal regular primer but for us dry skin girls i do feel like you need to invest maybe i know there's a lot of drugstore ones that are really good but just getting an illuminating primer would help to boost the look of this foundation so yeah so that is it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and also <clears throat> and also comment down below if you did try out this foundation and if you liked it and what primer you did use using that foundation just let me know i like trying out new products so i really really enjoy it when you guys do actually Talk to me about like products in the comments down below. Don't forget to enter the giveaway if you guys want to get some really nice products. CC Glam is a 100% natural company, so you will get some nice products. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, follow me, follow me, follow CC Glam on Instagram, and also put, turn blah, 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 and also turn on your post notifications. And yeah, that is it. I'm done blabbing, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.